China blasted former Japanese Prime Minister Abe Shinzo on Wednesday after he warned about the consequences of attacking Taiwan. Speaking virtually at a Taipei forum, Abe said that neither Japan nor the U.S. would stand by if China were to invade Taiwan. After his address, China's foreign ministry summoned Japan's ambassador in Beijing to lodge stern representations. At a press conference, a Chinese spokesman said that anyone who challenges Beijing's bottom line will inevitably be met with bloodshed. A Taiwan emergency is a Japanese emergency and therefore an emergency for the Japan-U.S. alliance. It was this statement by Abe that triggered an outcry from Beijing. On the issue of Taiwan, Japan's former prime minister is talking nonsense and flailing his arms about. He's making absurd suggestions about China's internal affairs. Anyone who dares to tread again on the path of militarism and challenge the Chinese people's bottom line will inevitably be met with bloodshed. China's protest didn't end there. Following Abe's virtual address at a Taipei forum, China's Assistant Minister of Foreign Affairs Hua Chunying summoned Japanese ambassador to China Terumi Hideo. China's CCTV blasted Japan, even bringing up the Sino-Japanese wars in the process. With tensions at fever pitch between China and Japan and China and Taiwan, the U.S. is closely monitoring the Indo-Pacific. Speaking to a Washington-based think tank on Wednesday, U.S. Secretary of the Army Christine Warmoth identified three potential sources of conflict in the region. Japan is worried, for example, about the Senkakus. Uh, we have a treaty with Japan. There's obviously been quite a bit of discussion about um, China's very aggressive actions right now towards Taiwan with the various violations of their uh, aid is. So that is something I think that the department thinks about. Uh, and then, you know, there's unfortunately uh, also the possibility for misunderstandings or miscalculations in the South China Sea area. Warmoth says that the U.S.'s most important task ahead is to prevent the outbreak of a war in the Taiwan Strait. The, the best strategy is to make sure that our deterrent posture is sufficiently strong that um, President Xi, you know, every day, um, to the extent that he might think about trying to forcibly reunify with Taiwan, would decide that, you know, today is not the day to do that. As China ramps up its military harassment of Taiwan, international support for the island is growing in tandem.